we will, uh, without further ado, we're having our own member, uh, board member, Scott Taylor. He is from, you know, as he told earlier, from uh, Money Exchange, Private Money Exchange. He'll be talking about moving from debt to wealth. Give him a welcome. Yes. yes. What did you say? I said, do I need to use this microphone? Yes. yes. Okay, I'll use it then. Use two. Where's the second one? I'll bring you one. Okay. So today's presentation, I've entitled it Resolving Debt. And in August of 2013, I gave a presentation about my struggle with debt and recovering from bad decisions. A lot of people liked that presentation, so I revised it. So there's a lot of material that I had last time, but there's some new things in here. So basically, I wanted to talk about living in success city or failure mode. The interesting thing about my story is that I was the kind of person that got paid well for my work. I always put money in my 401k, and that money kept growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And by 2004, I had about $100,000 of cash. There was something <coughs> weird about adding another zero to a number because it kind of made my brain stop working right. I had some shortcomings. I really didn't know what the value of money really was. I didn't really know what $100,000 was. I did not know how to do financial statements. I had a big ego where I really thought I could do anything because after all, I'm a computer scientist and I can write software. So I really was in this place called Success City. I just didn't know it. So I got on the highway for failure bill, thinking that was success. <laughs> and then after being in failure bill for a while, I realized, you know, I'm really not succeeding here. Maybe I should be a little more humble, rethink how I'm doing things. And then with a humble spirit, having a negative net worth, I joined GD Rea in 2010. And I started thinking, gee, what did I do wrong? So this is really my story of my failures. And maybe you can learn something from it. I can figure out how to use this clicker. So basically, I had a $200,000 for $100,000. I looked at six properties, and I bought four of them. I just really thought I was really smart. And I had a very, very flawed attitude. I thought. If I can just hold on to these things, I will be okay. No, that is wrong. The correct answer is, if I make money on these things, I'm okay. Because there's something called financial statements you really need to think about. And over time, I successfully turned $100,000 of cash into about $100,000 of debt. You see, once I, I took my money that I had, and after I just started kind of throwing it away, you know, just Wait, not really realizing what it's worth, you know, I can pick those dollars up, and I trust me, I will. Here's some Romanian money. I can throw that away, too. You know, I just, I just didn't know what money was really worth. And I didn't know how to do financial statements. So you can see how, and that can really be a, a bad thing. And I was very successful at losing a lot of money. And I'll just go ahead and say, I was kind of stupid. I really was kind of stupid. So basically, uh, hopefully I'll figure out how to use this clicker. I believe I need to push this button to advance. There's an arrow there. So here, here's loser number one. Isn't that a, a gorgeous mansion? <coughs> yeah. Wow. That was built in 1859 by a very rich person that owned a company that that basically had a bunch of mines in Delphine. Isn't that? Wouldn't you love to own that property? That's gorgeous. It's a beautiful property. So I finally had to walk away from that one because the city determined that I needed a fire escape. Hmm. For it to be safe, I had to either redo the fire escape or put in some sort of water system. It's interesting, when this building burned, there's a picture of all the firefighters on that fire escape that wasn't strong enough. Isn't this another gorgeous house? This one was built in 1868. It's right next to the other one. It's an eight-unit building. What killed that one for me? was the same thing as, gee, you need a second exodus on that. What's that going to cost? Maybe $60,000. Time to walk away from that one. This other one here, 
This is loser number three. This one was built in 1886. It's a duplex. My property manager finally, finally called me and said, Scott, you know, I'm having trouble keeping tenants because this house is just really too old. So I went ahead and decided to get rid of that one. So I sold that one off finally. And then here's my other one. I sold this one in 2000.